Okay, this video is going to show you how to assign devices. The two reasons you'd assign a device is this. The first reason is if you have a class set of iPads in your classroom, you're going to use them the whole entire year, you might want to consider each student having a specific, a specific iPad. So the way to do that is to assign them in Apple Configurator. The other reason to assign devices is this. You can actually change out devices. So you can check out a device to a student. They can use that device for maybe two weeks, create some good stuff on it, and then they can check it back in. Apple Configurator will make a backup of that. And then maybe two weeks later, that student checks out that iPad. It doesn't have to be the same iPad. It could be a different iPad the Apple Configurator will actually take that student's profile and put it back on the iPad. So he'll have the same apps and he'll have the same information on those apps. That way he can continue to work on some of his projects that he was doing. So those are your two reasons that you would want to use assigning device. So I'm in Apple Configurator and I'm just going to go over here to where it says assign and I'm in here and I've created Mr. Hall's class so far. And to create a class, I'm going to create a user group here. I can just go down here and hit the plus button. And it asks me, you know, I can say Mr. Hall's science class. So I can have multiple user groups over here. Let's say I want to use Mr. Hall's class. I have two students in here already, Steve and Walter. Let's say I wanted to add myself. I go down here to the very bottom and click on that plus. And now I can name a new user here. So I'm going to name myself. And it orders it alphabetically. And let's say you wanted to assign some pictures. So I can just go ahead and double click on that little image there. And I can use some default pictures. I can use some recent photos that I've already put in um, Apple Configurator. I can take a picture with a camera by clicking on that tab, or I can choose a picture from my computer, which would be other. The other way is you can just take this picture over here and drag it right in here, and it just drags in just perfectly. I want to use this picture here, so I'm just going to go ahead and hit Done. It automatically puts that picture there. I'm going to go up here and double click on Steve. Steve kind of looks like me, so I'm going to go ahead and put that picture in there. So there's Steve and there's Walter. Guess what? Walter looks just like me too. So I have three pictures, Jamie, Steve, and Walter for my three users here. And another way you can kind of make the lock screen a little bit more personalized is to go up here to your preferences and go into your preferences under your lock screen. This checkbox right here it says include user image I'll just go ahead and uncheck that now you don't have a user image right here if I want to include that user image that I just put on there and I just went in and uploaded I can say include user image that way when I see the iPad my picture is going to be right there on that iPad or that student's picture is going to be right there on that iPad you can make it a generic picture if you'd like if you want to um, go that route that's fine too and of course my text is down here telling, um, giving the phone number of where the people, where the people that find my iPad um, would call to return my iPad. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on the X, get out of there, and then I'm going to go ahead and click on Jamie, and then I'm going to, I don't have any documents right here, so I'm not going to assign any documents, but I do want to go ahead and check out the device. And then it's going to come up with a list of all the iPads that I'm supervising right now. And this is all my devices right here. If you want to find your iPad cart number one that we set up, you can do that. And here's our, here are all the iPads associated with cart one. So let's say I wanted myself, I wanted to assign myself um, iPad number four right down here. It's got to be right across from my name. So I'm going to go down here to number four. And I'm just going to click on it and drag it up. To number four and drop it. That replaces that number one with number four. Then I'm going to go down here and check out. Then I'm going to go ahead and go to Steve and I'm going to check out a device to him. 
and let's say I want Steve to have device number nine. So I click on number nine and drag it up there. And then I hit checkout. And then I go to Walter and I check out a device to Walter. I want Walter to have number two. So I'm going to click and drag number two right across from Walter. And then I'm going to go ahead and check out. And when it's finished, you'll hear a little tone if you have that set up. And right now, it tells me what device Jamie has, it tells me what device Steve has, and it will tell me how, what device Walter has. So I can be sure of which iPad they have now. So now, what I can do is I can look at these iPads. I'm going to go ahead and show you what the iPad looks like. So for example, I can pull out number 9. And I can load up number 9. It might take me a little bit of time to find this. Here we go. Okay, I'm going to show you my iPad. Give it a little bit of time to think. Okay, here's my iPad with my picture on it and my funny hat. So that's a picture that shows up there and the text is still there. That way you can give it to that student. The student can use this iPad and he would be all set and ready to go. Go ahead and quit my reflection app. And when I want to check the devices in, I can go back to here. I want to check Jamie's device in, just click on Jamie's name, check him in and it will take that device back to the supervise stage. So I just checked them in. If you want to check all three users in at the same time, you just go to all users here and you can check them back in very quickly. So that's how to assign each of your devices to a, a specific person in your class.